Hey guys, Roman Sidus here with this gaming rewind on the Legacy of Kane, originally developed by Silicon Knights. The Legacy of Kane is a series of action adventure games which incorporates a number of play styles from hack and slash to puzzle solving. The series is set in the fictional kingdom of Noskov, a dark and sinister world ruled by the eponymous character Kane, the vampire anti-hero. The Legacy of Kane is actually made up of two sub-series, Blood Omen and Soul Reaver, where the player takes control of two different characters, Kane and Blood Omen and Razael, one of Kane's lieutenants in Soul Reaver. The Legacy of Kane features an extensive story that is expanded in each entry, and as the series timeline is non-linear, the games take place in various places in the overarching story. To compound matters, the events of the later games take place as a result of time-travelling paradoxes in previous entries. For example, the events of Blood Omen 2 only take place because of a paradox in Soul Reaver 2, which altered the original timeline. So yeah, it can get pretty confusing. The first game in the series, Blood Omen Legacy of Kane, was released in 1996 for the PlayStation and 1997 for the PC. The game introduced the fantasy world of Noskov. The player takes control of Kane, who wakes as a newly resurrected vampire after being murdered, to take revenge against his killers, as well as finding a cure for the vampiric curse. Blood Omen is a 2D side-scrolling game, played from a bird's eye view in a similar manner to early Legend of Zelda titles. The game places a great deal of emphasis on exploration, as Kane can visit many areas of Noskov, with gameplay being divided between outdoor and indoor exploration. A sun gauge measures the passing of in-game time, with the screen becoming lighter or darker accordingly. Certain doors possess time triggers, which only open at specific times, such as moon gates which only open at the full moon, which roughly occurs every two hours of real time. Health and magic are kept in check with relevant meters, with Kane acquiring a variety of abilities, weapons and armour throughout the course of the game. In addition, there are 100 secrets to be found in Blood Omen, by activating switches, entering moon gates, or finding items like spirit forges. Blood Omen Legacy of Kane also contains two possible endings, depending on what the player chooses at the game's climax. The sequel, Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver, was released for the PlayStation and PC in 1999, and later ported to the Dreamcast in 2000. At this point, a legal battle arose between the original developers of the franchise, Silicon Knights, and publisher Crystal Dynamics, for the rights to the Legacy of Kane IP. The case was settled privately, with Crystal Dynamics taking over as developer. Taking place 1500 years after Blood Omen, Soul Reaver tells the story of Razael, a lieutenant in Kane's army, who is executed by Kane for becoming too powerful and is later resurrected as a Soul Reaver. Soul Reaver marks the series transition to 3D and contains elements of platforming, hack and slash combat and puzzle solving. Gameplay revolves around shifting between the material and spectral planes to progress through different areas. This allows Raziel to face between impassable gates and walk on water that he would not be able to otherwise in the material plane. Furthermore, puzzles can affect each dimension in different ways, so platforms in one realm may open up paths in the other. Enemies include humans, spectral creatures and vampires that leave behind souls when defeated that replenish Raziel's health. Raziel can also gain possession of the Soul Reaver Sword towards the end of the game, but will lose it if he sustains damage and can only regain it by restoring his health to maximum. The next entry, Soul Reaver 2, was released in 2001 for the PlayStation 2 and PC. It is a direct sequel to Soul Reaver and continues the adventures of Razael. Taking place in both the past and the future, Soul Reaver 2 delves deeper into the history of Noskov, raising thought-provoking themes of destiny and free will. Much of the gameplay of Soul Reaver 2 is based on its predecessor, as Razael can shift between both the material and spectral planes. Razael once again has access to the Soul Reaver, which is now symbiotically bound to Razael. Opting for a more cinematic approach, Crystal Dynamics focused on less boss battles, which were prominent in the first Soul Reaver, as they wanted a more character-driven story. While the game was praised for its innovative story, visuals and combat, it was criticised for limited replay value and ending without a final resolution to the plot. Blood Omen 2 was released in 2002 for the PlayStation 2, Xbox, GameCube and PC, Blood Omen 2 is an integral, set between Blood Omen Legacy of Kane and Soul Reaver. However, the events of the game did not occur in the original history, and instead take place in an altered timeline as a result of actions in Soul Reaver 2. The game sees the return of Kane as the playable protagonist, who awakens 400 years after the events of the original Blood Omen to reclaim their Soul Reaver sword and once again attempt to conquer Noskov. Blood Omen 2 is a third person action adventure title, with puzzle solving elements that need to be solved in order to progress through the game. Kane has access to a rage bar that is filled when Kane successfully blocks an enemy attack. When the meter is filled, Kane is able to use specific moves known as Dark Gifts. 
Supernatural abilities gained through vampire evolution. Although only starting off with his own abilities, Cain can absorb other vampiric dark gifts that can be accessed through the dark gift menu. The last century into the series, Legacy of Cain Defiance, was released in 2003 for the PlayStation 2, Xbox and PC. The game takes place after Soul Reaver 2 and sees both Cain and Raziel stranded throughout history after the Time Paradox event at the end of the last title. Defiance is the only game in the series where both Cain and Raziel are playable, uniting the two sub-series Blood Omen and Soul Reaver. The only weapon available to either of them is their respective version of the Soul Reaver Sword, with Cain possessing the Material Reaver while Cain controlling the Spectral Form. By defeating enemies, Cain and Raziel can learn different combat techniques some of which can be used by both, while others are unique to one character. Runes can also be collected to upgrade each character's health and be able to use telekinetic powers more frequently. The game switches between Kane and Raziel to take advantage of their unique abilities, such as Raziel's ability to phase between both the material and spectral planes. The Legacy of Kane franchise provides a deep and rich mythos that spans across centuries. The time travelling element creates an epic backdrop against a personal story of power and revenge, with deeply compelling and realistic characters that have gained cult status in the form of Cain and Raziel. That brings us to the end of another Gaming Rewind. Thanks so much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Keep up to date with me on Facebook and Twitter and be sure to comment, like and favourite this video as it helps me out a lot. Until next time, peace out guys.